As gun violence surges across the United States, there is a potential new high-tech line of defense to help protect schools and other public places from future mass shootings. CBS's Manuel Bohorquez shows us how artificial intelligence could provide an early warning system when every second counts. Miami's Frost Museum of Science is using artificial intelligence to try to keep visitors safe. So the AI system monitors all the cameras. And then Brooks Weisblatt is VP for technology. Every tool helps, every second counts, you know, anything that we can do to further protect the community and our visitors and our staff. The technology works with their existing cameras and has been programmed to spot different types of weapons. Say my phone were a weapon. The system would immediately alert the entire museum security staff, but also pinpoint my exact location. They could then determine whether it's a police officer, for instance, or an actual threat. The AI technology is developed by a company called B Motion. Hussein Abu Hassan is its president. Airport schools, they're big places. Uh, so is it revolutionary then to have the ability to have AI do it as opposed to human eyes? Absolutely. You cannot have millions of people uh, uh, watching cameras all over the world. It's uh, almost impossible. He points to the Nashville school shooting as an example. The company claims this simulation shows the weapon being detected once the shooter got in and during the time the shooter spent near this hallway. It would have provided the, uh, the officer the exact location of that uh, shooter. Similar AI programs like the one from company Zero Eyes are being used in schools like Florida's Hernando County School District. The goal would be to get police on the way before a single shot is fired. We can be aware and law enforcement can be responding. Within seconds, we're notified. The company B-Motion says its system can cost school districts anywhere from $40 to $70 per student per year. Critics of AI say it's not foolproof, but the institutions we spoke with say it's another layer of defense. Nora? Really interesting story. Minnie Bohorkas, thank you very much.